Hey everyone, it's been a month. I have been a little burned out by how the last video was received, wasn't received. I was working on other zombies related stuff and it just hasn't happened yet. I hope that's okay. That said, this is not another in-depth trailer breakdown or any long form gameplay. Instead, I just want to break down the announcement that came out today. So this video should be pretty short. Episode 3 of the Call of Duty podcast, or COD Pod, released today. And despite it being almost an hour long and packed with information, I'm going to be focusing on roughly three minutes near the end where they talk about zombies content, specifically Liberty Falls. When I made my last video talking about Liberty Falls, things looked pretty bleak. The depressing blandness of the map left most of the community a shambling husk of what it had been after the Terminus trailers. See what I did there? I've never seen a community so quickly devolve from sheer hype and joy to anger and vitriol. Terminus left many fans excited to see zombies return to its glory days, while Liberty Falls actually killed any hope that the game would meet even the softest of expectations. In my video, I was a little easier on the map, saying we hadn't seen it all, and hopefully the map could still surprise us. And that's echoed in what we got in the COD pod with Stephanie Snowden, the Senior Director of Studio Communication, which is a mouthful to say at least. Ebony states that there were elements of atmosphere that we couldn't see at COD Next because the main quest and other Easter eggs were disabled. Now, that alone does not fix the map because there were many elements that myself and others took issue with beyond just atmosphere. But much of what was being talked about by the community at large was these atmospheric elements, with Stephanie mentioning how they've also been touching up the map in the last month to make it moodier. If nothing else, this means they are listening. They're taking our criticisms into account and making changes to improve. That's literally all I could ask for. That said, they doubled down on something important. He says that Liberty Falls will be a smaller, more casual map, while Terminus is one of the biggest we've ever seen and will be the main focus. Now, this is fine. Most of us assume this from the very first announcement of the maps. However, until COD Next, this was not properly advertised. And a lot of players got the false impression that both maps would be in depth and packed with content. Say what you want about those expectations, but Treyarch did nothing to correct them, letting hype build up around them until COD Next, where everything fell flat. Up until Next, the community was at arguably its highest high since the early days of Black Ops 4, culminating in the reveal of the Liberty Falls cinematic trailer, which broke the internet for a hot second. The reveals of Rick Toffin, his family, the Wonder Wolf, Samantha, all of it came together to convince most of the community at that point that Liberty Falls was going to be as big and important as Terminus. Since the Liberty Balls fiasco, honestly, like most of the passion has drained from the community. I see half hearted reddit posts of what people may or may not be excited for but the majority of what i see is self-aggrandizing statements of oh i knew all along that the game was going to be garbage i genuinely feel like the community kind of imploded after the reveal of the gameplay now you're hard pressed to find a post that isn't something along the lines of bring back bo3 and nothing else. A not insignificant amount of that vitriol came from the reveal that Liberty Falls was indeed a casual app. Quite a visually unappealing one at that. Now, as I've said, a lot of the visual problems are apparently being solved. But before now, that blandness just fueled comments that Zombies was catering too much to Warzone players, instead of maintaining its own uniqueness. Now, that is, of course, a valid criticism on its own, but it was only made worse with discussions over the HUD, which in and of itself only got worse after the multi player beta. We'd been under the impression that the HUD would be fully customizable, but with the MP beta coming out, it showed that it really wasn't. It just had some presets you could throw on. And that did nothing for the zombies problem, where the UI overall just looked so plain and incredibly unappealing. But according to Stephanie, that is also being touched up. This is the other element that people are saying will fix the game. And... I can't really agree with that either. First and foremost, we have no idea what these touch-ups will even look like. They could be doing a complete overhaul, which would be great, or they could just be tweaking a few placements, tightening the elements, etc. We simply don't know, and we won't know until it's revealed in the upcoming days. Overall, for those announcements, I think people are making a way bigger deal out of it than they should be. I appreciate the hype. Trust me, I do. But it won't do any good if the map is still bland, if the UI is too homogenous, etc. I think it's much safer to just wait a couple days, see what comes of it. Who knows, with the speed I make these videos, by the time this gets out, we could already have more information. But that wasn't all we got. They also talk about the round-based nature of this game, and thankfully, Stephanie confirmed in no uncertain terms that the team is entirely focused on bringing round-based zombies to the game, and only round-based zombies. And then not only will we have the two on-disc maps, but before the end of the year, we will have a third map. 
the first DLC map. She says sometime around season one, but I think it's possible she may have misspoken. Season one will be starting roughly three weeks after long, and I find it unlikely that they would release the first DLC map before most players have had a chance to really go through and beat the first two. More likely she meant season one reloaded, which would give us closer to two months with the map releasing sometime in late November or even December. Maybe I'm wrong, but that feels way more likely to me. She also confirms, quote, Zombies players can expect more support for in-game events compared to previous Black Ops games. The only thing that makes sense to me here is that she's talking about alternative game mode. For example, Cranked in Black Ops Cold War, or even Grief from Black Ops 2. Unless she means something more akin to Modern Warfare Zombies, and I don't even know how that would work. She presents this like a pretty big deal, so I genuinely can't even guess what they're referring to with this. Eh, hopefully we'll find out soon. Finally, they make a big confirmation for people like me, which is that Kevin Sherwood will be coming back and providing music for some Easter egg songs. We're getting one for each on-disc map, and almost certainly one for each DLC map, but that's to be expected. They do say to check out Kevin's previous work and name drop Damned. Conveniently, Damned 7 is on Treyarch's YouTube channel right now. Jokes aside, it does sound great. But that's all the info I could pull out of the roughly three-ish minutes we got of zombies information. They do talk earlier in the broadcast about which Black Ops 2 ending is canon, but I find that a bit ridiculous because not only does the ending not matter to Black Ops 6, which takes place what, like 30-ish years before, but the part they are talking about, Alex Mason, it doesn't matter whether or not he survives because he won't change the events of Black Ops 6. Either way, in Black Ops 2, when he's revealed to still be alive, it doesn't change anything. They still thought he was dead, but that's besides the point. If you did like this video, enjoyed listening to my voice, or just have nothing better to do, please go check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash YT. We'll be streaming at 7 p.m. Central Time tonight, playing some of the new Dragon Ball game Sparking Zero. And if you enjoyed that, please go check out my second YouTube channel, Low Class Cubone, where you can get more Dragon Ball content. Other than that, I promise I am still working on COD content for this channel. I've said that every video, but I promise I am. I hope to do some Easter eggs this Sunday on Twitch. Regardless of what happens, remember to be gay, do crimes, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.